triangle, but most servers will take that to mean that you're making somebody a VIP, which means that somebody is going to be demanding or feel entitled. That's exactly the opposite of what this is. This is building your VIP. Um, your, getting somebody to this spot means that this is the easiest person on the planet to ever deal with, and you want your station filled with those people. Because once you get them to this, this spot, you can take an order from across the room. Do another is so easy, and they feel like they're getting priority personal treatment where you're actually cutting corners. They're feeling like they're getting what no one else is because from across the room, you're communicating that you have a relationship with this guy or this girl possible VIP for you eventually. So you'll determine that right away. And the only way to do that is by not doing what the industry standard will tell us to do, which is stay in your station, hands behind your back, smile. You're not, you're probably not all in the restaurant business, but this is, there, there are standards that are considered hospitable. This is considered hospitality. Is that hospitable to you? Like if, if you're running a, 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 a hospital, and you're trying to make sure that everyone's getting all, what, all the things that they need and somebody walks in, is it hospitable to stand back against the wall, make them come to you and try to figure out what, what it is they need? Of course not. So what we've been, we're kind of more and more stiff and, you know, yes sir, no sir, or absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> That's hospitality now. But th because it's really competitive, more and more restaurants oh. are opening up. And she said it like 30 times, and I'm like, no, it's, okay, first of all, no, it's not your absolute pleasure. I mean, being on a beach with a, an umbrella drink, that's your absolute pleasure. Helping some nameless, <laughs> faceless person. So kind of after a while, you start to feel like, okay, you're just you're lying. lying. And yeah. you're, yeah, you're not, you're, so you're wasting my time in these tiny chunks, and you're lying, so what else are you? You know, like, it, it's just, when you scream, absolutely. Absolutely. Can I get another lemon? Absolutely. What? That just sounds crazy to me now. And I think you're going to start to hear the same thing when you go out and you start hearing hospitality. It's it's turning into the exact opposite because there's so much focus and so much competition. So all I'm trying to do is to bring it, bring it right. So if you're coming into a restaurant and the norm is to walk in and be assisted by a hostess who's going to say. Hi. <laughs> uh, William. William. Oh my God! Write that down. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Right? And and this is this is great. I mean, this is what's expected. If you wanted to be more hospitable and open up relationships and get people from here to here, you gotta come to the plate with more than hi. It doesn't mean, hey, I'm Leanne. Let's go have dinner later on. But. It does mean that you have to think a little more outside the box if you want to make more money. If you want the same amount of money in a really more and more and more competitive environment, then keep doing what you're doing. All I'm offering is a different scenario that can equal a lot more money. So what we're going to do, all right, no stopping. I tried to buy some time. What I'm going to do is just walk through the bottom it, and it doesn't matter once you have this tool in your hand, it doesn't matter which one you choose. You can choose any one or more than one that's comfortable for you that day or that week and just focus on it. I tried focusing on like two or three in one week and it's like, oh my God, there's just so many ways to build relationships and get getting money for doing like things that are just not expected. A, a coat check person, for instance, will hand you the coat. Okay, no, nothing, uh, here's your dollar. I'm thinking, well, well, what could be better than that? Oh, knowing what the code is before they get there. So they're walking this way. I go into the coat check room, gr grab their coat, and now when they go to reach for it, I'm holding it with the shoulders, so they don't even have an option. I mean, they're confused, but then they're, oh, okay. When, when a husband does that for a wife, it's such a nice, caring gesture, and it says, speaks volumes to who that kind of man is. It says he's got class, he's got character, when I started doing that, it said the same thing about where I work. It's, it's, it, you know, and then when they reach for that dollar, they're like, ooh, that seems, uh, here's a five. Okay, I just d more than tripled my money. Doing the one extra thing. I was going to hand it to them anyway, but now I'm holding it like this instead of like that. Huge.
huge difference. And, and nothing, really. And the way that I got that coat, I didn't just say hi when the walk was on. So assisting in a way that, I mean, you can watch every single day what ordinary employees are doing in every, rest, in every industry, not just the restaurant business. And then you can take it to another level, you know? And part of that is just watching and saying, what would I do? What would I do? All this is, is my, uh, my little VIP triangle which for restaurant employees, it's, it's a way to get people walking in the door from anonymous people that you'll never see again and get the average tip from to this place where you know that you're going to see them again and they tip way above average because they know Stephanie and you know them as Barbara, the mother of Teresa and I don't know, Debbie. <laughs> And, you know, that she's in advertising and that she lives right down the block kind of thing. That, and, and people that you're getting into a basic relationship with at the very beginning and they're not, not your favorite or they're not, they're not getting where you're, what you're serving. Um, it's easy enough to just go back to being, doing exactly what you do, which is to bring the, the food, bring the beverages, and go on with your life. And it's not exactly what was expected. It's just these blocks down here give you the opportunity to build a relationship to a, a VIP up here, which if in your station you have almost all VIPs, they are the easiest people on the planet to deal with because they're your VIPs. They don't walk in as, I'm a VIP, treat me better. They're your VIPs that make your life easier and tip higher. So they make you more money, the more people that get to here the better quality your shift is, the more money you actually make. So we're just going to go through real quick how to open those doors. So let's start with um, the first box, and you don't have to go in order, I was saying before, that you can pick anyone or more than one and then focus on that for the week, and just you'll see in, in a couple of days that your income is going to change. And that's, that's, I mean, no one else is offering that on any level in a book, in a seminar. They're saying, here's how to work harder. Here's how to upsell. Here's how to put bigger ice cubes in the glass and serve less. And this is your answer to servers who are being paid $2 and something cents an hour? That's horrifying to me, you know? Put real money, real opportunity in their pockets. That's my theory. So I'm going to start. I was like, please, God, how many times have you said I want to start? <laughs> okay, so my first one was grab it. When you see somebody reaching for the door, and this is very, very loosely, please interpret it very loosely. It doesn't mean regimentally, like, run after people or always say thank you or always do this. Or do, If you end up in a restaurant or any kind of business that basically says you must speak this way, then please, you, you know, you have to tweak things. So when you, walk, when you see somebody walking in, it's raining out, or it's winter, or they've got bags, it's the holidays, they're walking in, maybe they're a little, it's not easy reaching for a door. So opening the door, grabbing the door, pushing that open, or pulling that open, and helping them in, that's not standing against the door, uh, the wall with your hands against your back in your station, hoping that you're going to get this customer. You've just stacked the deck that you are going to get that customer. Because as they're walking in, and you're saying, oh my god, it's cold out there, huh? And they're saying, yeah, is there a reservation I can check you in under with Denisa? Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, it's um, Mr. Smith. Okay, Mr. Smith said, this is Denisa. What's, um, he's uh, checking Mr. Smith in. Can I take your coat for you and make you comfortable? Sure. Here you go. All right, I'm going to take your take Mr. Smith's coat. Do you know where he's sitting? I hope it's with me. <laughs> uh, I'll bring the toe check ticket back, but uh, if you tell me at the table, then I can bring it right there. And then just walk away. So you've got his coat. You're already making money before any of your coworkers are even thinking about. So um, now you've got a coat check. You've already made. You're already making money while your 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 coworkers think you're nuts. Okay, mm -hmm. that's okay. Don't tell them anything, mm -hmm. right? So you're helping him with his with his coat. Now when you walk away and he says. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Smith, table for two. You're, you know, Denise is probably going to feel guilty enough to want to sit him in your station. You know, here I've got, he's got my, the coat, I, you know, I've asked him for this customer. Denise is probably going to sit him in that station, which is mine. So I'm already making money, first person in, right, just because I opened the door. So that's the difference right from the get-go, block one. 
Um, the next one is uh, get your name in it, which is for me pretty much anything anybody asks. Would you like a lemon? Are you, you're in Leanne Station. Of course, you get a lemon. I'll bring you a whole tree. Getting your name in it. Make sure that these people, whoever they are, remember who you are. We haven't figured out whether they're going to be a VIP yet. We're not sure whether they're somebody that you want to get extraordinary and make it to the point where they have a text number to get in touch with you. You're not sure yet. You're just making sure that if they do need something or they are going to post something or they're going to share a picture, that they know who it was that assisted you. Okay, so thank you is the next block. Instead of saying you're welcome, or in a lot of restaurants now, you're not allowed to say you're welcome. It is absolutely or absolutely my pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure, Miss Holmesy. Thank you so much for calling me. What? Yes, get me the lemon. So my principle is thank you. So instead of saying you're welcome, when somebody says thank you, thank them back. Okay, because it, it starts to remind them that you're actually doing something for them. You're not at um, Cafe Red all day bringing lemons, whether Sean is here or not, because it's absolutely my pleasure to bring lemons all day. You are actually doing something for Sean, and you should know it, and you should feel like somebody did something for you, because you're here to be served. So saying thank you, when you say thank you, thank you I'm saying thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me serve you. That's a big difference from you're welcome. You're welcome dismisses the fact that I just went all the way to the, the east side, fought, fought with the chef because he didn't cut lemons, you know, and brought back a lemon. <laughs> and then when I say you're welcome, you're like, oh, of course I am. I'm a customer. You know? <laughs> or absolutely, absolutely it's my pleasure to go get lemons. No, it's not. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. So after a meal, and you said uh, you've heard thank you like four, five, six, seven, maybe ten, twelve times, that's going to start to register. No, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It does add up. Psychologically, when they go to put the number in the tip line, it changes that amount. Hopefully by five, maybe zero. Wow. You have a lot of things. Okay. The next one is alert the neighbors. How many of you are going to work every single day and zip going right in, and you are surrounded by people who could be sending you customers? <laughs> Hopefully not you in the, in the, hosp in the hospital. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I don't need any more, thank you. <laughs> Send that dead guy I heard you talk to. Um, but in any other, uh, any other industry, we survive on customers. People who are reaching in their pocket, whether it's restaurants, whether it's you know, buying a TV, anything. You're, re you're relying on people who know where you are. So if you swing by and, and you know, you're going to get your coffee at the same place every day anyway, do you know who's serving you your coffee? Probably not. But if you say something to the effect of, thank you so much. You guys are so nice to me every single day. I want to return the favor. Here, here's my business card. And you have your restaurant business card. And you hand it to them and you say, I work right around the corner. I'm Leanne, by the way. What's your name? Handshake. You know, now you know his name. Say it's Dave. Say it's giving you coffee. Um, you're now putting your business card on the table. He knows who you are. You got your name in it, right? He said thank you. You said thank you. And then um, you're giving him the business card, and you're send, saying thank you so much. You guys do such a nice thing for me every day. I want to return the favor, right? What does that mean? He doesn't know. Anytime you want to send anybody to the restaurant, please have them ask for Leanne because I will treat them right. I will super VIP them. That You've said absolutely nothing. You've said nothing about sending them a filet mignon and a lobster for free. You've said nothing about guaranteeing them anything. You've said basically that you're going to treat them VIP special if they send them. So you go around for everyone that you buy a cup of coffee from who now knows who Sean is, who Stephanie is, who Leanne is, and anybody who walks into their business and says, do you know where I can get a good salad? Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do, because it might actually benefit me for sending them. I can recommend a bunch of different places. I don't know one person in those places. Not one. And this is me, you know, this girl really said that I did a nice thing for her, so it's probably going to be solid. That These people are going to be taken care of. 
I want to do, you know, everyone wants to do something nice for somebody else. So you're, they're going to be recommending you because they think that you're going to be treating them right. The next time you stop in, you want to make sure that you say, or I, I do it the same day, I take the, the card back. So now you've given them something, you start to take it back, you go, let me make sure I have my name on it. And you write your name and say, by the way, I'm the, the only time that I can really do this is five. Whatever you, the time is. If you arrive at 5 o'clock and you don't start getting busy until 7, who's the genius not standing around because you've got five, rest, uh, five store owners sending people to you at 5 o'clock while your coworkers are still standing against the wall with their hands against their, their side thinking that they're being hospitable? No, actually you are. You've been hospitable to five different store owners who, are, who now know your name and are recommending your station, not just the restaurant, they are recommending your station. Huge! The more, I mean, you just went viral in your own neighborhood. Personally viral. So you want to make sure that on that business card is your name and then the time that you want people to be there. So not during your business time, not between 7 and 9. So between 5 and 6, I would totally hook up anyone you send in. Make sure that they ask for me and use your name. Wow, I can use my name? Dave, you know, yeah, go, you want a salad? Are you kidding me? I know where to get a great salad. Tell them Dave sent you. Who doesn't want to say that? I mean, that's brilliant. I mean, we never get an opportunity, but you guys all have that opportunity every single day. Every store that you go to any time, how many people have business cards on them right now? Nice. Nice, Linda. <laughs>